Welcome shroomers to another Legend of Mushroom video. I'm going to give you guys the full basic guide of what this game is, how to play it, and hopefully if you're new, you should know by the end of this video what to do. So let's get into Legend of Mushrooms and today's video. So, Legend of Mushroom, very simple game. All you're going to do is start out, as you can imagine, as a small baby mushroom. And this is where you're going to start out as a shroomy. And as you power up and level up through the game, you're going to evolve. So you're going to evolve into an adventurer. And then from there, you get to pick one of three classes. And this is at level 30, as you can see. You can pick the warrior, the archer, and the mage. I will make a video guide on each one of them. All of them are viable if you are wondering. So if you are debating which one's the best, I will make a video for that, but that is not today's video. But once you've kind of picked your role of one of the three classes, you will be later on at level 15, be able to pick a sub optimal class afterwards which is like your next version or evolution and this goes all the way then to level 100 and then maxing it up to the awakening stage so you can see you're kind of leveling up to progress right and how do you level up you're probably wondering and it's pretty easy i'm not gonna lie so at the start of the game all you gotta do is tap the lamp and it sounds sad i know but tap the lamp boys because tapping the lamp as you can see is going to generate you this new gear for your account and you can either choose to equip it or to sell it and it's really good because you can see even all the stats and stuff and the cool thing is even if you go to equip you can see if there's a power loss or if there's a power gain so you know if it's going to be good for you and the one thing you really do need to pay attention to which will be in the guides for specific classes is these two extras right where you see evasion and crit rate these are two extra additional perks that you really do need to take care of when you are playing specific classes right so that's the first thing you need to do start pumping and clicking onto your lamp and what you're going to be doing is every time you're clicking this lamp you're also generating xp and gold right and this is going to go up into this little gold area as you can see up at the top and you use that gold to upgrade your lamp and as you can see the more higher level up you get the better odds you are starting to gain for your gear so even at my stage at level 12 i'm not getting any normal gear anymore and you can see i'm almost in this higher echelon of gear right and the cool thing is at level 16 you will get the auto feature so this is just a way this can automatically get used and you can change this from one going all the way up to 10 but again you need to upgrade your lamps in order to do this as you can see all the way through but by clicking on this you can choose as well filters this is just in case you need specific gear in the late game and once you've done this you can just hit start and you'll see now the lamp is going to start doing its thing and any gear that is not hitting the recommendations that i wanted it's gonna just eat up and it's gonna recycle for me right but if there's ever a gear that i might need which is going to be a upgrade it will pop up on screen and i can just choose for that right so that's the first major gimmick right that's how you're going to level up your first bit of character that's all your gear and that's kind of what you see in this starting area of like screen right so let's move on to the next area which is going to be all of your skills and then going into your pets because these are the gacha mechanics in the game so your skills this is it basically entered on the bottom left corner just click on this you can bring up your skill menu and these are what's going to be used if you're wondering what's the best things in the early game honestly all i have been doing is clicking the enhance button and hitting the quick equip and it will honestly put on the best ones for your class at the moment right until you get into the stage where you get all of these crazy ones where you might need to combo them in certain ways that's a little bit different right but for the early game you just need to keep doing that and the same thing applies for your pets so your same thing you're going to collect pets and you just hit the enhance button you're going to get power up as you can see and you would hit quick equip and it will pop up any of your chosen ones and you'll notice because this is a afk idol battle game when you're not you know doing anything in the background you can see my little mushroom guy here destroying all the minions in the back but the auto cast is on meaning all of my abilities here are going to be casted on their own i don't need to do anything you can choose to turn this off but there's no reason to do it so 
I'm just going to say don't do it. But if you want more skills or you want more pets, you need to go down to the little shop icon. And the shop icon is the gacha system. And here is where the big tip is going to come for a lot of players. Because I know at the beginning it's going to be tempting to use your gems. And even I have used a bit of gems on my own. And I'm going to be using a couple of gems just for this video. But please do not use your gems. Why? Because I'm going to go over another mechanic a little bit later that you're going to need your gems specifically for. But please don't use your gems. But all this is, is the gacha system. The more you use the system, again, the better odds of getting better skills will acquire over time. So just for this sake, I'm going to consume 600 diamonds. Don't do this ever. Just use the ones you're going to get for free because you will get plenty of them and i'll showcase how to do that in a moment but here we go boom and you'll get all of your different skills right and the same applies at the top you can just click the top and change to the pal icon and then you'll just do the exact same thing but i'm not wasting those gems right so that is the gacha system on how to increase your skills and pals very easy nothing too complicated right upon there right so now you can see here isn't finally a new item upgrade and it's something i've been waiting for it's a legendary gear and it's upgrading my current level 49 to level 63 gear boom massive for my account sell that and done and i'm now hoping to find another one right just for that third slot just to segue a little bit off on the video there so now though how to upgrade our skills we know how to upgrade our pets now, right? And we know how to obtain pets and we know how to obtain skills. So now we've got the three fundamentals, gear, skills, and pets. These are the early stages of the game, what you're gonna be grinding a ton of in order to get them. So how can you actually get more stuff? Well, pretty simple, and I'm gonna show you. So at the very bottom of the screen, there is a double sword icon. And when you click on this, this is going to give you your dungeon menu. And this is how you actually get a lot more stuff in the game. And if you are a free to play player, please, as you can see, I've been doing apart from the last one I need to use, please use these advertise buttons because you're getting a free key every time you're doing this and you need to do this in order to progress quicker because the assault lamp thief every time you kill this guy you're gonna get a bunch of gold but more importantly you're gonna get those juicy juicy lamps you're gonna need down here in order for you to obviously get new gear and you need to keep grinding that lamp for that also as you can imagine, the Molten Ruins, this is really good. This is the area where if you want more pet skills or the more skills in general to, you know, in the gacha system, this is where you go. Just go and pump through the Molten Ruins. Every single time you progress through, you're going to get more. And then if you're struggling because you can't progress, it's okay. You can repeat the last stage and keep grinding three skills that way. So that's the one one you need to do. And then the final one in the next area we need to showcase is ruined ancient set so this is a area where you unlock your artifact and this is going to be again unlocked later down the stage and you can always click on this icon here in order to see when it unlocks for your account but when you get your relic you're going to be able to then come into this menu and what you're doing is simple you're just going into that menu which I just showcased, the Ruined Ancient City Dungeon, you're clearing this out to get some artifact like coins or currency in the game. And then your first main priority, which I've been doing, is searching for relics. Because as soon as I've started opening up these relics, as you can see, you might start with one, but the more lucky you are, you're going to start opening up extra slots. And these artifacts, as you can see, will grant you some really good stuff. So this is just some base stats. This is the basic one. Really good for my class because I'm playing the Berserker. But then when you look at the, these other ones, every 12 seconds, I'm dealing an extra 711% damage. And this one is, again, 296% damage when I'm using active skills. So it's just extra damage out there so this is just another really quick mechanic and honestly you get these 
every single day it becomes kind of like your daily routine it's nothing too crazy and you just enjoy that grind so the next thing i want to talk about though and it's a very important one is where to use your gems people ask where to use your gems and you can see i'm on fifteen thousand, and i could have been easily on about twenty thousand, twenty five thousand, even if i was um even more stingy and not using any gems at all and the way you want to use them is when you unlock as you can see on day four the little mount icon because what you're going to do with this is actually come to the shop area and when you go to the shop area you can see there's all these different categories that you can buy stuff in right so you can see pouches of gold clock winders you can see speed ups and obviously money for diamonds but what we are actually interested in is these clock winders these clock winders are what you're going to be using to basically upgrade your mounts these are like very key and it's very powerful when you unlock that mount because it gives you a ton and i mean a ton of power for free and it allows you to push through some of the stages you might have been struggling on especially as a free to play player so let's go into the next and final area that i really want to talk about that is going to help you guys massively and you might not understand how good this area is and that is joining an alliance in legend of mushroom so the alliance menu you will unlock this a little bit later down again when you level up and it's just this little flag with the skull right next to the shop so this becomes your little screen and it's cool because you can as you can see walk around you can even just click and it will move to this location and you can see there's a bunch of different areas there's the family shop the city hall the blazing cave and the family brawl so the one thing i really want to showcase on here firstly is the reason why you're in here because as soon as you join an alliance you can then start asking for help and as you can see people are asking for help on their tech research your magic lamps and you basically able to get free speed ups by doing that so by just joining the alliance you can reduce the time why not right but on top of this which is more important you will get some donation coins obviously there i wasn't able to get any because i've reached my daily maximum which again when you click on to the little fairy hole and go to donations it will tell you how much you can earn which is 10 times a day so you can get 500 through here which is only through the help donations you can do other tasks which we'll go over in a separate video but when you are getting these alliance coins you want to go to the family shop and the cool thing about it as you can see you buy magic lamps and this is what i want to get all of the free to players to be buying buy as many of these as you can because even now you can see i've got one more remaining down here and if i go down even further this is 30 right so i am gonna get the, the 30 ones because obviously we can buy them so now we've just got another 60 lamps to grind gear and this is the one thing i really want players to start abusing get as many of these lamps through your alliance family shop it's going to help you get that gear again in the early game and progress your account from level one all the way up to level 100 so to finish this little area off you will get access to the blazing cave this one feature is amazing because it's going to allow you to get this lava chest and you can see these lava chests will get better rewards with your alliance but when you're inside of these blazing um, bosses which is even more fantastic you're going to be able to fight this big totem you're going to get a giant amount of gold plus a load of different stuff like skills and pets it does power you up so try and make sure you always use your attempt you can see this is on like a six hour timer and then you're good to go right so nice and simple so that's pretty much everything that's a basic guide to this game i've been playing pretty much completely free to play i've probably put one dollar in as you can imagine just to unlock this dragon legacy weapon just to see how good it was because a lot of people were just recommended in it obviously i kind of regret doing it because i think you can go completely free to play with this game which is amazing as a feature for it and i'm having a ton of fun you know i am blazing through this in the actual game you know ranking wise we can go up and hit the button and i am again free to play basically but i'm ranked 23 in the levels of my server which i think is amazing but you can see the benefits of the spenders who do put up money into the game they are absolutely crushing it almost double my floor plan but 
boys, being in the top 50 is great. So I am enjoying it. This has been, again, Legend of Mushroom. I hope you've learned something today and understood now from beginning to end what you need to do, how to power up, and just basic concept of this game. So from level 1 to 100, you should definitely know what to be doing. So if you enjoyed it, smash a like, comment, and subscribe. Until the next video, stay safe, stay sneaky, peace out.